What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I want to talk about the pros and cons of leasing versus buying your solar panel system. So what do we mean by a lease? Usually that is a PPA or solar power purchase agreement, which is a financial agreement where a developer or company arranges for everything for you. A design, the permitting, financing, and installation and maintenance of a solar panel system on your roof with little or no cost. In a PPA, you are agreeing to buy all of the power produced by the solar panels on your roof for a set price. Usually these agreements are 15 to 25 years in length. And when I refer to buying a system, I'm talking about either using cash or a loan to purchase the whole upfront cost of the system yourself as a homeowner. So one of the biggest differences between these two plans is who gets credit for the energy that's generated. In a lease or a PPA, the solar company gets all the credit for the power produced with the electric utility company. But if you purchase the system as a homeowner, you get all of the credit for any energy generated in that system with the utility company. So depending on how your utility works, you may get credits on your bill that you can use later, or it may actually be a discount on your bill. The next major difference is who gets the incentives, tax credits, and rebates in this. In a lease or a PPA, the solar company gets all of the incentives, rebates, and tax credits. That's basically their business model. But if you buy the system outright yourself, you get all of the incentives and rebates and tax credits, including the huge solar ITC or investment tax credit, which is 30% of your system's cost. Now this may seem obvious, but with a lease, you don't owe any money up front. There's no upfront cost whatsoever, no dollars leave your pocket. But if you're paying for the whole system up front, obviously this is an investment. You have to look at it that way where you're going to get a return down the line. Probably in 10 to 15 years, you're going to have this thing paid off and now you're going to get free energy for the rest of the time that your system lasts. So how does this decision affect your home value? Well, if you do a lease or a PPA, it has no effect on your home value whatsoever. It doesn't add a dime, and in fact, it may actually hurt some things, and we'll talk about that later. But if you own the system, you are going to add value to the home. Now, that's a point for debate about how much. There are certain government agencies that require the solar panel costs to be added to the value of your home, but it does add some value to your home. It is an asset. So which one's more trustworthy, more reputable? And this one's going to be completely my opinion. I'm okay with that. I'm just telling you my opinion up front that some solar companies, there are hidden fees to watch out for. There are hidden maintenance costs sometimes. And a lot of times there are escalator clauses where your payments will increase over time. And that's not made abundantly clear to you up front. If you're spending cash, then that's completely free of any kind of surprises whatsoever. But if you're going to get a loan, not that there can't be hidden fees involved with that or fine print, but most of us are very comfortable, very familiar with how loans work. So what happens if you decide to sell your home before the lease term or the loan term or whatever is up? With a lease or PPA, generally that's not transferable unless the new owner wants to sign for it. So that means you're either going to lose out on that buyer or you're going to have to buy out the contract yourself for the rest of the term. If you paid cash, you're good to go. But if you still have a loan, you obviously have to pay off that loan. The good news is that you have increased your home's value. So when you sell the home, you can use the extra cash to pay off the loan and then pay off your mortgage on your house. Now, as long as you know what the terms are of your lease or PPA, they are much more predictable as far as what costs are coming down the pike than a loan or an outright purchase. So you should know what your electricity costs are going to be for the entire duration of the lease or PPA. If you're buying the system outright, you may have a component break, you may have something that needs to be replaced or repaired, and that cost is on you and there's no way to forecast that. So the bottom line is if you're looking for no cost up front, super predictable, no hassle down the road, unless you decide to sell your house, you're going to want to go with a lease or a PPA. If this is more of an investment or an independence thing, then definitely purchasing or getting a loan for the entire cost of the system up front is the way to go. Thanks for watching guys, and if you want more cool solar videos in the future, hit subscribe.